everyone, it's Laurel Suzanne. I just want to go ahead and thank you for joining me on day six of the Mega Magnolia March 2015 event on YouTube. Super excited to have you back. I am just so thrilled that uh, you decided to join, you, join us uh, during the National Scrapbook Month. Super excited. Um, I'm really, really loving this event. I'm loving all the creations. If you watched yesterday's video, it was myself, Amador, who is Amadoris on YouTube, and Sabrina Ann. Uh, today will be my little sweet piece, who is Letty, and Rena Myers. Tomorrow will be Scrap Passion 01, who is Betty, and Markeisha, who is Staple M1. So those two uh, lovely ladies are the hostesses of the... Crafty Academy Awards here on YouTube. So make sure you check out all these amazing artists. And if you missed yesterday, make sure you go back and check out Amador and Sabrina's channel. So I'm actually adding all the, the uh, videos to a playlist. So you can just click on that and then follow through. Alrighty, I'd like to go ahead and also give a special thank you to you, the viewer, and to our amazing sponsors uh, for uh, you know, tuning in and checking out these Magnolia-inspired creations. Our stamps that were donated for all 14 of the design team members for the event were donated generously by Diana Crick of Magnolia Licious, and she's at www.magnoliastamps.us. She has a challenge blog, and there is also a discount code in the description box below so you can get your stamps at a wonderful price. And she has generously donated a super surprise uh, mag Mega Magnolia package for one lucky winner. So you don't want to miss out on that. Our next sponsor is the Rubber Buggy, who has generously donated a $25 e-gift certificate for first prize and one stamp for second prize. She has a challenge blog as well. Our next sponsor is Marker Pop, who has generously donated one stamp and five Copic Chow's markers. Their discount code for 10% off all of their Magnolia stamps and Magnolia products will be Love Magnolia, and they too have a challenge blog. Our next sponsor is Art Attack, who is Chai Town Tracy here on YouTube, and she has generously donated a $25 Eve gift card to her store, and the she has a discount code of MMM, and those are all capitals, and that stands for Mega Magnolia March, and that is for 15% off uh, all of her Magnolia items in her store, Magnolia products, I should say, and she has a blue light uh, special, uh, which is a Magnolia stamp. It's Tilda with Inez. It's a super cute little bunny, and you can check out all the details on her uh, video and her store as well as her, her Facebook page because Chi Town Tracy uh, Tracy has a challenge that she runs through her Facebook and her she announces it on her YouTube as well and if you're interested in doing those types of challenges just check out and follow all the rules for um, her challenges uh, this particular uh, gift will be drawn on Amador's channel so make sure you check out all the details on his channel for this giveaway. Super excited about that. Our next um, our next sponsor is NotToShabbyShop.com and that is Jamie who is Scrap and Stampers on YouTube. She also has a Facebook page and um, has a challenge that she runs from her uh, Facebook and her YouTube. So make sure you check out uh, those for the challenge details for each of her monthly events. Uh, the Mag M Magnolia March Month discount code is actually Magnolia and she's giving a $25 per, um, discount on the Magnolia products in her store with using that discount code. So make sure that you check out all the details for that. Our next sponsor is Scrappy Land and they have generously donated a $15 e-gift card to their store and they are having a uh, sales event for the Magnolia uh, March month. So uh, they also have a challenge blog, so make sure you check out all the details for those challenge blogs. Uh, the next sponsor is Laura's Store, who is Love Rubber Stamps, and she has generously donated one stamp for the giveaway and a discount code for the Mega Magnolia March event. And Laura also has a, a challenge blog, so if you're interested in entering any of the challenges, check out all the details for, for the challenges. Our next sponsor is Stampin' Create, and they have generously donated one Magnolia stamp for the giveaway and they too have a discount code along 
they also have a challenge blog. So our next sponsor is Seven uh, Kids Seven Kids College Fund, and she has generously donated two stamps, which I have here. Uh, they are super cute, and they are Tilda with Daffodil Basket and Editor Tilda. I love them. So adorable. And she, too, has a challenge blog, and there's a discount code in the description box below. Um, oh, actually, she has a discount code for the Mega Magnolia March uh, on her site. Uh, the next sponsor is... DIY Boutique Supply, and she has generously donated a $25 uh, gift pack of bling, and she will be, uh, that drawing will actually be on Rena Myers Challenge. Now, Rena Myers is actually a participant in the event, and she will be uh, in the event and doing all of uh, the that particular drawing on her channel. She'll have all the details uh, and eligibility information on her uh, video. She has a challenge blog where she does all the magnolias, and if you, I love these stamps. You should really enter your your projects and uh, cards uh, into her challenges because they're fun, and you can win some awesome prizes. And um, all these sponsors are just super amazing, and we want to thank them from the center of our heart for helping with this event and just being so generous. So thank you again. I so appreciate it. Alrighty, so moving along, I'm going to go ahead and just share my my uh, creation for today. Uh, this actually is a recipe. It's a clean and simple. If you ever wonder what capital C, capital A, capital S stands for, it's C-A-S. A lot of people, new crafters have see, seen that, um, that um, abbreviation. It stands for clean and simple. Uh, so this is what I created for my clean and simple project. Um, I purchased this recipe kick, recipe keeper from uh, Ollie's when I lived in Louisiana and I planned on altering it and I wanted to make it a special recipe book for, recipe book for one of my children and add all my family recipes that they always ask me for. But it was kind of plain and I wanted to fill it up with my, my little um, Tilda uh, stamps. I have a whole bunch of them. I'm just going to go out here. There we go. Oh, wrong way. Well, that's my Tilda. Oh, so you guys can see it there. And this is Tilda with Love Cake. I gave her kind of a olive, a little darker skin tone because as tan. <laughs> I'm tan, y'all. I'm tan. Alrighty. So I wanted to go ahead and give her this little Tilda. I love cake. Who does not love cake? I don't know. I love cake. And uh, I thought she was just so super adorable. And I had picked up this uh, paper. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out so you can see the full uh, card here. I don't want to cut off. Sorry about the... Sorry about the... Um sketchiness there. Let's see if I can go out a little more. All right, well that's that's how that's how we're going. All righty, so this is a pretty good size. And what I did was I just kept it kept it clean and simple. I did some I put a piece of a uh, cardstock in the center to give it a little bit of durability there and um, did some layering. Now what I did with my image is I copic colored her in pink. Uh, hues of pink and then I did some blues for the white to let the white be a little bit bolder and stand out for the chef's hat or I should say pastry hat and the little um, chef shoes. Now you can wonder why I have a small A there. Well, I could not find my other die set, the capitals, and I was like, oh, I don't know what happened to them. Sometimes when, I, when I'm punching or uh, die cutting, I'll a punch out of a whole bunch of a certain color, then I'll move to the next color, and then I just put them in an envelope. Well, I couldn't find another A, so I'm like, no. <laughs> so I just used a little A. <laughs> I think it looks cute still. Now, this little cupcake paper I got when I was at Hobby Lobby in, I believe, Manhattan, Kansas, when I went to visit my son. I saw it, and I just picked up one sheet, and I wish it had picked up a whole stack because it's super cute, and I love the image. Um, she, this is Tilda with Love Cake again, and she is super cute. Now, what I did is I just um, cut it out. I used my envelope um, punch, my envelope uh, maker punch, and you just put the corners in there, and you just punch it, and it rounds the corners for you. So I, I do use mine quite often. I have a piece of little lint there. Alrighty, now this is actually has a pocket. If you can see, there's a pocket in there. 
so I can add little recipes and I just left this like a, so I can add a, a recipe or some um, some information or whatever but I really really liked the way it came out and I thought I would just make some different dividers for my uh, book and if you can see if you can see that real quick you just open it and this slides right in and I accidentally punched a hole there because I was, I don't know, not paying attention. <laughs> but see, it just flipped in. And then I can just add stuff. I love it. And I thought it would be really cute and fun. I might laminate this uh, at some point. I don't know. I haven't decided. I haven't decided. Um, because I really like the pocket idea. And I love the way the little different cupcakes look. So this is my clean and simple card. It didn't take me very long to... Uh, to create the coloring took the longest I guess if you want to say <laughs> but I love coloring see and then like you can just use that as a little mat behind it because it tucks in all the way in the bottom so that is my little uh, idea for today I'll just go ahead and let you I'll zoom in so you can see my little girl there uh, how I colored her is I used E23 E11 E02 E00 I used a pink, a uh, true pink. I can't remember uh, the number right offhand. It's a new color that I'm using for cheeks. Um, and then I just used my uh, colorless blender to go ahead and uh, color in the, bl uh, the skin tone to kind of give it uh, a little darker tone. I, I really love the way she, she looks. You know, she's kind of tan. She's got that cute little haircut. Oh, those curls. And... Um, uh, for the blue, I used B000 and B00. Uh, so those were the blues that I used. Uh, for the hue around, I just went over uh, the, well, I should say, I shaded around her using cherry ice. And I think she came out really super cute. So that is my project for today. Like I said, I'm, I'm doing several projects uh, so that you can just get the gist of ways to use these items because they are super adorable. So you've seen me do some a little bit of shabby chic. You've seen me do an altered item. Now you've seen my clean and simple project. On my wish list, oh, and just to let you know, I did get something off my wish list the other day. Um, I um, got a few stamps. Happy mail. <laughs> so I was able to uh, get the uh, strawberry... Uh, strawberry or I said should say summer strawberry tilde so I'm super excited about that my next thing is to there's a couple of stamps that I want to get some of the newer stamps uh, that are on my wish list um, that little mermaid is on my wish list the newest one from um, I think she's from the zodiac collection but she is super adorable but that is my project today and I guess um, we'll ask um, Alrighty, we'll ask this question of the day. Uh, where, if you buy Magnolia stamps, where do you purchase them from? So that our sponsors can get an idea of where you're picking up your stamps and uh, whatnot. Uh, so that's the question of the day. Where do you buy your stamps from? Um, and if you don't have a, uh, Magnolia stamps and you visited our sponsors' uh, stores and their Facebook page, um, just go ahead and put uh, what is your favorite store that you might purchase a stamp at, a Magnolia stamp. Um, just to give us an idea, you know, where you're looking. Um, I sit shop everywhere. <laughs> I love these stamps, and these are some of my favorite, favorite uh, stores. Uh, they have quality customer service, quick delivery, and amazing products. Uh, and the thing is, they have a vast variety of products for creation. Um, you can get the magazines, you can get the stamps, you can get the markers, you can get the dyes, uh, the paper, embellishments. We've got an all, all of these sponsors have some amazing, amazing products at their store. So I really hope that you check them out and you don't miss out for this month because it's National Scrapbook Month and this is the time to get your, your, uh, get your, your Magnolia on. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Answer the question so you can get the extra entry. Make sure you like and subscribe um, to me. Like this video. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment below with the answer. And I will see you tomorrow. So thanks for watching. See you on the next video.